longer one. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogoween. Uh, it's not October day one. It's the whole first week of October was kind of a disaster. I kind of mentioned in my the final Halloween decor hunting video that we were going through some changes around here and some stressful times, which I'm going to talk about today and then we'll continue on our vlogoween adventures. But um, the first whole week of October was kind of a blur. I mean, there was a lot going on, a lot of stressful things happening. I have to laugh because I want to laugh and cry at the same time. You know that feeling? I think I filmed myself making some coffee <laughs> and that's about as far as I got. I feel like it's not either not really happening or it's happening too fast or or if it's everything else going on right now, but I'm just not really feeling it. Like I'm, I'm really having a hard time getting motivated. I know it's like the worst intro ever to Vlogoween. Like, hey, happy Vlogoween, by the way, not really into it this year. <laughs> worst intro ever, but I just want to be open and honest about it just in case you're out there and you're kind of feeling the same way and you're like, oh, I know what's going on. I feel ya and I'm, I'm with you, just not feeling it. I want to redo, <laughs> no. Um, anyways, so I wanted to say that and also I thought it'd be a good leeway into the sponsor for today's video Which I've talked about before the sponsor for today's video is cerebral and cerebral I, I mentioned this in a video before because I talked about wanting to work on my mental health and in the beginning Kind of when I was talking about it in that video I was like I want to you know get help with stress management and time management and some things that would maybe help me with burnout. So that's kind of my initial journey. And now my mental health needs have changed even more. So I thought Cerebral would be a really good start to this video and to kind of talk about, cause I'm gonna be talking a little bit about what's been going on and Cerebral is gonna be my place to go because therapy is gonna help me through this. So if you haven't heard of Cerebral before, Cerebral is a mental health platform that offers comprehensive care. So online prescription management, counseling and therapy for depression, anxiety, insomnia, and other conditions. Also ADHD, bipolar, and PTSD uh, may be available depending on your area. And everything's offered at a flat rate and everything is offered in the comfort of your home, which that was a big thing for me. First and foremost, I didn't know where to start. I had no idea. <laughs> I, for what I was looking for, I didn't even know who to call, where to start, what 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 to do. With Cerebral, it's convenient and it's private, which was really appealing to me. Um, you can do it all online or from their app, which they have a Cerebral app, which you can get on Google Play and or the App Store. Super easy to use. Do all my visits, scheduling, everything from the comfort of my home. So I really love all of that. Also love that Cerebral offers comprehensive care. So Cerebral integrates behavioral and medication therapy. Everything is all in one place. So your doctor and your therapist can be in contact with each other and offer you the best care. Also the affordability factor. So Cerebral is three times more affordable than traditional therapy services. And you can use Cerebral with insurance or without insurance, either one. They have a flat monthly rate plan, which I also loved. So there's no surprises. So when you get started with Cerebral, you just answer some questions really easy just to help Cerebral understand some of your symptoms. Then from there, you can choose to subscribe to one of three membership programs. So Cerebral has three different membership programs. They have the medication and care counseling plan, the medication and therapy plan, and therapy plan. And then from there, Cerebral matches you with your providers. So this was a part that I was all excited about because you can see the different providers and see what they specialize in. So you can kind of go off that and really hone in and find the best match for you, which is something that really stood out to me because uh, it takes all the guesswork out of it. So if you'd like to take the next step in working on your mental health, you can click the link down in my description box to get started on your questionnaire and get connected with a provider right away. And your first month starts at only $30. So definitely check out Cerebral if you've been looking for something like this. All right, so I'm gonna get a beverage because I'm thirsty. Do I want a Coca-Cola Classic, a Dr. Pepper, or a Sprite? That is the question. Anyways, so we're gonna chat. You're probably like, all right, ghoul, out with it already. And I didn't mean to get everybody all worked up and worried, by the way. Um, <sighs> hi. All right. So here's the, here's the deal. I scared some people because when I said there was like a big life change that happened um, when in that whole Halloween decor hunting finale, if you didn't see it, kind of just mentioned that uh, there was like a big change happening and it was kind of stressful and I didn't want to ruin the last day of Halloween decor hunting. I didn't want to ruin the mood. So 
I chose the first day of Logoween instead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no. Anyways, I like to laugh through pain. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that. Okay, so I scared a lot of the spooky family out there and I'm so sorry, I did not mean to scare you. I, a lot of you thought it was my dogs, which I will say this, if it was my dogs, there's no way I would be sitting there on camera not bawling my eyes out. There's just, thing that happens, it would definitely not be a situation I could contain myself in. Anines and Bailey are fine. Neens has a little bit of an eye sty today. She gets allergies around the fall. You say hi to everybody. Um, she gets allergies this time of year, so she'll get some eye styes. I just need to clean, make sure I'm keeping them, um, doing her rinse every night this time of year. So anyways, she's doing good. And Bailey is, uh, he's in diapers now. <laughs> so they're both 16 and he was having, if you remember last, uh, if you've been around here a while, if you're not and you're new here, hello, welcome. Uh, so Bailey is, uh, we have two 16 year old Chihuahuas. There's Neens and Bailey. Oh, excuse you. The so last winter, Bailey started having some issues going potty in the house and he's on some kidney medication and we're kind of working through it. He was just, uh, you know, you get old and you, you pee your pants. You know what I mean? Like that's, <laughs> that's kind of the situation that was happening. So he's currently in diapers. Uh, it was an adjustment, but he's doing great now. So, and he's happy, we're happy because he's not peeing on the floor. He's happy because he doesn't have to feel bad. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, it's, it's all a great situation. So anyways, it's not my dogs. Um, we're all healthy, everybody's healthy, our family, everyone's good. So, which we're so grateful for, and that's that's the the silver lining in all of this. So, um, what happened was, uh, kind of was talking about at the end of September. Uh, my husband and his brother had a small business. They had a bar and music venue business, and that they've had it for thirteen years, and it's no longer. Um, they had to close, they closed it. And that's kind of what was going on. So there were, there's a lot of things that were happening with it. Um, so the pandemic for one is, you know, a big reason. There were a lot of things that, you know, a lot of people, small businesses did not make it. Uh, and I was actually, I'm, I did a whole video last year during, of quarantine vlog thing and I had filmed the whole thing happening and I decided not to post it. So we had gone through this whole emotional thing because we pretty much at that point in one week we had found out that Neens had heart disease and that, that we had to close our doors, lay off all of our employees, you know, basically cancel all the shows for the rest of the year, basically, because they were like, oh, there's no way that there's, there's no coming back from this. Shows aren't gonna happen until 2021 again, like all this stuff. And so, uh, and so there was just like this big hit all at once. And I didn't really talk about it because I didn't, everyone was going through something last year. So I chose to go a different direction because I was like, I feel like we all need some fun, some positivity. I was like, I'm just gonna throw myself into this go look for some Halloween decorations. Let's, let's decorate our mantle in April for halfway to Halloween. I was thinking that maybe all of us needed to take our mind off of everything going on. So that was a big focus in 2020. So th since then, it's kind of like gone like this, like we thought we were done and then we thought we could make it and then we didn't make it. So um, my husband and his brother have been doing this for 13 years and it was a venue before that for many, many years before that. And so, um, the biggest thing with this, like, cause like I said, the silver lining is we have our health, we have our family. We're very, very grateful for that. Um, the reason, but losing a business of 13 years, a family business, something that before the pandemic was thriving in live music and artistry and curating art and doing that is just such a huge passion. Well, of, of mine as well, but my husband and his brother have been doing it since they were kids. They started touring in bands when I think my husband was like 12. They started their band when he was 10. Um, it's just their entire lives have been built around music and curating music, and then they got this opportunity. Yes, this 
was our main source of household income. So there is that, but the main thing that I think really we, we've been talking about and worrying about and been the, and I've been really sad about has been the city and the people and the, the scene and artists and all of that, I think has been the hardest. And especially in the city, like uh, my husband and I grew up here and we've gone, and music has been a huge part of, I mean, my husband longer than, than for me, um, but my husband has been, and his brother have been, like this has just been their whole passion. They just were kind of one of the few venues left where you get that old school experience where you never know what you're gonna get when you come in. So many different types of people and so many different types of music and it was just so non-judgmental. Like my husband took so much pride and he had so much passion and um, like if you came in, this is what happened with me. Like Dallas would ask like, oh, what kind of music are you into? And then you'd say, oh, I like this and this and this. And he'd be like, oh, there's a show this night and then this night and then this night there's something else. And oh, I think you'll like this band. And maybe this one might be a little weird for you, but I think you might still dig it. And then, or like he, if you tried a new beer, he'd be like, oh, if you like this one, you gotta try this beer. Oh, this one's also good. And he'd give you like a free little taster or something. Like it was, he's always just so like, curating a community well that's something that's both important to both of us it's just like the community aspect of anything it just was something that this was his whole life put into this and same with his brother their whole lives were put into this place and it's so sad to see that happen to two guys who and somebody i think i was reading an article and somebody was like these guys like we were rooting for the underdog like they're not corporate they're not suits they're not they're very like they just love music and they love live music and they love artistry and they love good beer <laughs> and it's just so sad to see something that was so organic and so like I, when I say that's why I say old school it's just like that organic feel that you just don't get a lot anymore when you go see shows now I just feel like it's and it's gone I just horrible it's horrible for our city it's horrible for the scene I just feel just it's heartbreaking and I think that's the thing about that's like the hardest part about all of it is that it's another small music venue that's not gonna be here anymore and um and it's just sad because like i think about the young people because for me live music and the kansas city music scene is like i don't know if i would be a creator or if i would have felt free to express myself the way i wanted to um if it weren't for uh, live music and uh going to shows and meeting people who i felt uh, i had something in common with because my parents didn't really let me go to shows or do much of that kind of stuff and then as soon as I turned 16 and my friends and I could drive, we would go down to the city and go see shows or say that we're at each other's houses, but we'd really be going to a show. Um, I didn't know anyone. I had never been in the scene before and people were so welcoming and open and um, it didn't matter what you looked like, or where you were from. It was just really, you met so many different types of people. And I think that was, that's another thing. It just like all of those places are gone and now this is gone. So it just kind of has been a rough change. So anyways, that's kind of, whoa. <laughs> anyway, so that's kind of what we've been going through. I know just in general, losing a job is stressful for, it's a stressful life change to lose a job and then to lose a business is another one. And then, and then to lose something just on a personal level, to lose something that made such an impact on my life personally, even before I met my husband is really hard to see something like that go. And then of course, this is my husband and his brother's passion. So this has been, it's been really stressful and difficult and everything's just, it's just a really big change. And then on top of all that, I think it was the stress of having such a short amount of time to get out of there. So that business has been there for 13 years, they've had it. And then before that, it was a venue. <laughs> so there were things in that place that were very, very, very old that um, kind of just got taken over when the new people came in. And um, yeah, that's kind of, <laughs> there was a lot to get out of there. I have the upper body strength of like a three-year-old, so I wasn't down there really helping, but I was, 
when my husband had to bring things back here, um, I was trying to help with that and trying to keep content going all at the same time and Halloween decor hunt. And so I was Halloween decor hunting and had to rush home so he could use the car to go because he needed to, you know, get stuff out of there and, and get down there and, you know, close everything up. And then it kind of at the very end, he came home at 6 a.m. after locking the doors for the last time, which was a whole sad thing. It was difficult towards that, like towards the end of all of that. Basically what happened is Dallas uh, locked the door for the last time uh, at 6 a.m. Um, he got home and uh, we kind of talked about it and all that. And then at 2 p.m. that day, we had this shirt restock. And I had announced the shirt restock. I, either we didn't know that it was happening yet or we thought we'd already be out, I think is what, I don't know, one of those things happened. And so he took a nap basically and then got up and was helping me with like getting shirts packaged up and sent out and all that kind of stuff. So it went from one thing jumping right into the next thing and shirt restock went great and thank you so much if you purchased a shirt a spooky ho7s shirt and there will be a restock here coming up i'm not sure exactly when um because of all the shipping stuff going on i'm hoping before halloween but i'll let you all know before before it happens and if you're a spooky family member like if you're part of the membership um, which I'll have a link to the membership in the description box um, if you're interested in, in looking into it. Uh, but you you know first and you get first dibs on the shirt. So you get access to it before everyone else does. So it's kind of that bittersweet feeling, you know, like we had, um, like there is a new, uh, a new baby, which is HO7S, that's our new business. And it's, I'm so, so excited about it. And I'm so thankful for you guys and and the support and everything and that you guys are excited about it and i've been seeing your spooky shirts out there and honestly we're just so excited about it so it's that weird feeling of like we feel like there's something good happening but also something really really bad happened at the same time so it's that feeling like you don't know if you're wanting to let yourself celebrate one side or be like it's such a weird feeling of letting go of something and then having something else literally in the same day starting it's exciting and scary and are you snoring <laughs> needs is snoring anyway you guys have been so supportive and in the comments you've been so nice and and honestly i couldn't ask for a better spooky family because you guys have been here for us and dallas has read the comments and we're just so honestly so lucky to have you here um with everything else going on it's just been kind of stressful to go through so i really appreciate your words of encouragement your positivity and everything has been like i've read all the comments even if i didn't have the energy to respond to them all i've read every single one and i just really thank you for being there and for always being supportive even when something's late like even like decorating videos or whatever when they're late you guys are so supportive and i couldn't ask for like this is like it was never about the views or the subscribers or whatever it was more about like building this organic community of people who can come together in a space and no matter what walk of life you're from we all have a space where we can feel like one big spooky family and i think that was always the goal so i i'm just so grateful to have you guys here so i'm hoping that as we go through vlogoween we can do things that boost our spirit and get us going and inspire us or mainly me I've been really trying to pull inspiration from you guys out there who have been decorating and all excited in your outfits. Like I'm so excited and it makes me feel so good that you're in the spirit. So it really inspires me. And so I, it has, I, I'm so thankful for you guys posting pictures and inspiration and just boosting. Like we're hype, we're each other's hype people. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of what we've been going through. What is going on now? That's where I'm gonna leave it tonight, pretty much. We're gonna do some microwave faux that we got from Costco for dinner. <laughs> Means is snoring at stadium volume, which I don't know if anyone else is like this, but when your pets snore, does it make you tired? Like you're like, oh, I wanna go to bed now. Bailey's been waking us up at freaking five o'clock in the morning, by the way. I don't think anyone in the house is used to regular hours yet uh, because Dallas used to get home so late. And then we'd wake up, the dogs and I would wake up, they'd go out and then we'd all go back to bed. 
And then Dallas would kind of wake up when I woke up, but then he'd still kind of be half asleep. So none of us are used to any sort of normal sleep schedule, not in my entire relationship with him. Have I, we've been together, uh, we've been married 10 years, been together 11 years. So we don't even know a normal sleep schedule. So this whole thing is such a weird transition. We don't know what's, oh, and even means is so tired. She doesn't like getting up early. Bailey's up at five. She's still in bed. It's it's just like a whole thing. So we're still getting used to this life and what we're doing and our schedule and everything. And it's happening right in the middle of spooky season. So here we are. Um, anyways, um, anyways, I just really appreciate your support and you being there. And I'm so sorry to scare you. I was not trying to scare you at all. It's been a change and we're getting through it. All right, my camera died because I was jabbing my jaws for too long. You know me. Uh, vlog a ween, here we come. We're getting a late start, but it's happening. So yeah, we're cruising. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.